Rob, Rock Talk. I'm sitting here with my good friend Jen Slapika, and we are here at the beautiful Riverfront Park in Yorkville, Illinois. And we're sitting on the dam. And we're sitting on the Glen D. Palmer Dam. Jen and I, the other evening, launched a sky lantern. Yes. Sky lantern. Ready? In just a minute, we're gonna launch it, okay? We'll make a wish. Yeah. What's your wish? To blow. Can, I blow it? Can you blow it? Yeah. Oh! Wow! That was a great wish. No kidding. Oh! Oh! That was a great one. That was a great one. Sky lanterns are really awesome. If you've uh, never experienced them before, there's a video on YouTube like 8,000 sky lanterns over Poland. Jen actually had a brilliant idea for a fundraiser. We are going to launch as many lanterns as we can for SPS, which is Suicide Prevention Services. And so we're going to find a location, hopefully here in Yorkville, to have a mass launch, bring awareness to suicide and bring funds to SPS. I can't think of a better way to raise funds for suicide prevention than sky lanterns. Something about lighting up the night sky and everything rising, you know, I mean, there's a lot of uh, poetry. Like yeah. yeah, a lot of symbolism in, in Sky Lanterns. You have a personal connection to Suicide Prevention Services. Thank you. Your mother started charity. Yes. That's yes. what it is. Um, and how many years has it been going now? May 29th, 1998. It was, began as the crisis line in the Fox Valley. Okay. And then it evolved to be Suicide Prevention Services of America. Um, and so my mom was able to choose the date as to when it would be transitioned. How fun! And it's not just for people in Northern Illinois, Suicide Prevention No, it's, it's, it's national. In fact, our reach on Facebook is international. It's pretty unique to have someone from, you know, a different country ask where can we find resources in our area or can you send us something? Yeah, really. So you guys have, have helped people all across the yes. planet. Is there anything else you want to say about Suicide Prevention Services? I mean, there's a need for money. There is a need for money. I mean, everyone's in a, in a hard spot right now, but social services especially uh, are, in, are in dire need. And, um, and you guys get no government funding, right? It's all no, everything's, private um, funds. Yeah, just private funding and, and uh, donations, fundraising. That's yeah. what keeps us alive. Uh, is there a website? There for is. It is spsamerica.org. spsamerica.org. There you go. There is hope. There is hope. Yeah. It's a There's great a world. Hope. It's a beautiful world. Look at where we are right We have now. sky lanterns. We have guacamole. Yeah, that's yeah. right. These are all great reasons These are to great stay reasons alive. To stay. Just guacamole is the superior superfood and actually contains all of the nutrients and elements that you need for survival. Where you could eat a guacamole every day for the rest of your life and get everything you need to sustain and stay alive. It's rich in riboflavin. Yes. Or riboflavin. There's a low protein in it, which I believe um, helps eyesight and actually restores vision. Really? Yes. Uh, yeah, and I also read where uh, it helps prevent Alzheimer's. Yes. How about that? I, it's amazing. It is the superfood and it is in your guacamole. Yeah. Amen. Don't kill yourself. Eat guacamole. Call somebody. Have a conversation about your thoughts. Yeah, We're you're here. not alone. We're here. We We're are here. here. Jen and I will be your friends. We'll if if your nobody friends. else will be your friends. I anyway, friends. I'm Rob Greider. This has been another great episode of Rock Talk. My thank you to Jen for joining me out in the middle of the river today. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you again real soon.